everybody, this is the final video for week one of theme one and here we're going to look at PPFs again. We're going to look at moving along the PPF and also shifting the PPF either inwards or outwards. So the first thing to say here is if you move along the PPF, what's the impact in the economy? So for example, if we went from point A to point B, what's the impact going to be? We talked in the last video about the difference between capital goods and consumer goods. We know that capital goods are machines. And therefore, if we go from A to B, we're going to be making less consumer goods, but we're going to be making more capital goods. We're going to be making more machines. If you have more machines in your economy, this means that you'll be able to produce more in the future because we can use machines to create more consumer goods. So if we go from A to B, we are capable of producing more consumer goods and capital goods in future. And the reason for that is because if we're making more machines, we actually have more factors of production. And we know that if we have more factors of production, we're capable of producing more. So if we then look at the next one, shifting of the PPF inwards or outwards. So where the PPF lies is just determined by the quantity and the quality of the factors of production. So therefore, if your quantity or quality of the factors of production increases, this curve will shift outwards. So it would move, for example, to here, and we'll label this PPF1. So if we have an increase in the quantity and or the quality of the factors of production, the PPF shifts outwards. So for example, if in China they are building more infrastructure like roads and ports, and airports, for example, and more factories. This is going to be able enable them to produce more in the future. So you'd see the shift from PPF to PPF1. PPF to PPF1. On the other hand, if you have a decrease in the quantity and or the quality of the factors of production, the PPF will shift inwards. And this would be, for example, a shift to PPF2. And an example of this would be what's happening at the moment and over the past 10 years or so in Syria, where there has been significant destruction of resources in the economy. So a lot of capital, the machinery, has been destroyed and also a lot of people have been displaced from the country and therefore their capital and their labour have decreased and their enterprise as well. And this has had an impact on the amount that in Syria they are capable of producing. So their PPF curve will have shifted inwards. The final thing I want to say on the video is about something called the margin. We're going to be looking at this when we get to theme three in particular, but also at the end of theme one. And the margin is just something that you need to know about in economics in general. If you think about a page of paper with lines on it, you have an extra piece of paper inside the margin. And it's about having an extra amount of something. 
That's all you really need to know at this point. It's having an extra amount of something, the margin. And in this case, we can say that the marginal cost of producing, so in this case, the extra amount is two more capital goods. So going from eight to 10. The marginal cost of that, it's the same as the opportunity cost, is going from six to four consumer goods. So it's two consumer goods because we're going from six to four. So that's the last video for week one. And now you can look over those videos and start testing yourself.